thesmartlocal.com Did you just say that testicles release pee? Testicles not a dick, man. Ah! Hi guys! Hello Hi! There. When did you take your O-levels? 11? 11 years ago? Can you talk ask kind of question? She's 2 years older than me, then I think she go espresso plus 3. 11 plus 3 is 14 years ago. Yeah. You're welcome. 2017, 5 years ago. Mine is about 10 years ago? Why you look at me with that face? <laughs> 10 years is not very long ago. I was 12, like, I was taking my PSLE, so... And everyone take O-levels. Hey, why? Yeah. This kind of people is what kind? It's the smart kind. No, no, it's early bloomer. Because they go IT program, they never take O-levels. How was your results? As always, my languages are my best. All the rest is like, lao sai la. But now I get why la. A lot of times when I need to check my grammar and everything, I ask her. Just now I asked her, in front is two words or one word? She said two. I don't know right or wrong, I just trust her. Spell avalanche. A B A L A N C H E. Avalanche. See? Even she know how to pronounce it. Avalanche, not avalanche. Okay, okay. I don't know this. Wait, 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 wait. Worse or best? Worse, worse. Oh, worse. Okay, three, two, one. Man. Science. Ah? <laughs> Science uh. My Chinese is the one that saved my ass for a lot of times. Like, honestly speaking, I almost retained. Almost couldn't go to sec 5, but my Chinese was the one that saved me. Okay, my best is also Chinese, and then my English is the worst. Will you be able to complete an O-level paper now? Maybe languages. Maybe la. Which That's subject? Not. Depends on which subject. I don't think you can do any actually. Hey! I think, I think that Chinese is also very tough now. I mean, I can do it. But can I score? Is another question. The answer is no. I forget all already. See. I'll return back to the teacher. Any Thing that has like those terminologies one right uh, what's the potassium element i also don't know k k actually k. i think i know i know actually okay. maybe i can on this episode of singaporeans try you will be doing o levels combined science wow. i cannot <laughs> i cannot really tell Wait, you yeah. really. is it too late to pull up i hope we we'll find other like um people to come here la. combined science is which science <laughs> Okay. I never take physics. It's okay, I took it. I never take bio. Okay. You took it. I so guess we are gonna rely on each other. It's the first time you're gonna take O-level. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh I love it. Yes. I'm dead already. Yeah, <laughs> what is this? Four different metals are reacted separately with cold water, steam, and dilute hydrochloric acid. The results are shown. Oh, uh, is this a common sense question? What are they asking? <laughs> Wait. I need to verbalize this. If not, I don't understand. Okay, so, um, what's the difference between explosively and vigorously? I know, I know. Vigorously is not as terrible as explosively. What's vigorous, right? I just imagine, uh, like you put the metal in this water thingy, like right? so it's vigorous, it's just like that. Explosively, right? It's like you're having fire. Oh, okay. Why like very strong? Got right? like explosively. Mm. It's the only one that's explosive. Correct. X. W. Then after that Z. Then Y. Ah, uh, yeah. To be honest, right? <laughs> you don't know. I I I cannot concentrate. It's okay. I'll just give up this question and then no, I think the know. next one I'll be try. Better. We have locked in our answers. This is my grade for my science. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> See, logic works. Logic works. Done and dusted. Yay! Not surprising. Magnesium reacts with dilute sulfuric acid. A gas is made in the reaction. Which row shows the correct test and result for the gas? <laughs> Sounds like Sue. Every time after she eats, a gas is made in the reaction because she's always farting. Just now in the toilet, also suddenly I need to fart. It's true. Today I fart over ten times. Hey, this how I know. I remember doing this. I got my answer. Like, I sort of recall this. Eh. So magnesium, they always use like a rod, almost like a sparkler kind of rod. Then they let us like dip and then there's like a reaction. I think C is out, it won't go out. I think because A and D there's a pop, so it's between A and B. Blowing spleen looks cool, so I think it's A. So if you think about it right, if it's an experiment that you do in school, will the school go through the possibility of letting you have a lighted spleen? You might just burn the chemistry lab down. No! So it's either A or B, glowing spleen because they play it safe. I feel they will choose something that will pop to scare the students. With that, I'm gonna go with A lah. Okay, like that. Yeah. I feel like it's a pop eh. So it's a pop? Again? Pop. Higher. Pop. 
Yes, correct. <laughs> they! The splint doesn't glow. It's oh, lighter. Oh my god. Hey, I'm very close this time around. I'm like... The pop. Yeah, the pop. Oh! <laughs> you mean the schools go through the risk of possibly burning the lead down? Wait! Why is it no longer the MCQ? Oh my god, no MCQ! I lose my only hope to get correct. The following figure shows the processes used to manufacture ethanol from petroleum. So what's a reagent? So it's a reagent. Like an agent is I think there's only very few options. Burning, stirring, crying. Your tears go in, then become alkane plus other products. Hydration. I'm gonna bomb some. That's a very good buzzword. You can say that after you see the production space. Hydration. Bunsen burner. Photosynthesis. Oscillation. Oscillation is a fan line. Distillation. Evaporation. Separation, constipation, <laughs> menstruation, <laughs> menstruation, not menstruation. <laughs> Actually, I will put distillation for both. Then maybe one is right, right? Confirm. Then you put all distillation. <laughs> is there even a need to check? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Fractional <laughs> distillation, I got do before. Yeah, I knew it! <laughs> Did just so pretty. What the heck? <laughs> Damn it! Cracking. But I don't remember seeing the word cracking ever. Yeah. A man has a mass of 60 kg on Earth. Roger, the Roger. Earth's gravitational field strength is 10 N. per kg. The moon's gravitational field strength is 1.6 N per kg. What is the man's weight on the moon? Okay, number one. I don't think it is 96 kg because when you watch Interstellar, right, and then they go like on planets, right, every time you see an astronaut on the moon, you're always going boing, 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 so it cannot be 96 kg. What are you drawing the moon? Yeah, I'm drawing Earth. Trying to visualize. Oh, I still need to draw a moon now. A moon. The moon bigger than the Earth. Hello. Really, man? No, man? What? See? Is it 60 times, times 1.6? Hey, yeah. That's 6. Okay, calculator says so. <laughs> I'm gonna lock down my answer already. Oh, wait, is it a trick question? Yeah, I remember slightly listing, right? You can have the same mass but different weight, or same weight but different mass. Cry, right? Because of the gravitational force. Then they tell you the gravitational field strength is this, is this, right? Then it will confuse you, but then actually your weight or your mass is actually the same. You know what I mean? Oh, okay. Oh, makes sense. Maybe weight is the same. Mass oh, shit! Is the is the wrong. It's one of them is the same. Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> it's more complicated than I thought it was. I sort of recall a moon, you don't go by KG, you go by N. You go to a moon before? I'm going with D, 96N, because, like I said just now, mass, they use KG. Now they ask for weight, cannot be KG. So it's got to be something that's N. It's either 60N or 96N. Cannot be you 60 KG, you also 60N. So it's 96N, no? Yeah, How they get the number, D. I don't know. I think it's D, la, but I'm just going to check. Oh, 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 oh. oh my god! Yeah, at first I know it's very Yeah! <laughs> oh, Pulu la! Bye! Yeah! Congratulations! You see, sometimes in life, right, you don't need to know the steps to get there. You just need to know what is common sense. But what is Newton? Maybe it's something Sir Isaac Newton from. Eh, hey, Sir Isaac Newton is fine, light, right? Gravity! Oh, sorry, that's Albert Einstein. Mm. Albert Einstein fine, light, right? Never mind. Let's not look stupid any further. <laughs> Infrared radiation has a wavelength of 6 times 10 negative 4 m. The speed of infrared radiation is 3 times 10 to the power of 8 m slash s. Calculate the frequency of this radiation and state the unit. Wow, I hate it when I see numbers. Eh. I only like seeing numbers in math. My, my bank account. Oh my, I don't know why I don't know anything. <laughs> uh. I feel like if I cannot do this question right, I failed my science and I failed my math. And I don't even understand the question, so I feel my English also. <laughs> One wavelength inside it. Whoa! <laughs> Maybe it's wavelength divided by speed. First, I find what is 10 to the power of negative 4. 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you do wrong la. No? Copy, you waste my time, sir. <laughs> Our answer producer, and we are very eager to show you. Ah, correct! It's 5e11 in another format. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's the AA frequency is. What? Is that Russian? I'm sorry, but I've lost interest in this whole conversation. 
Which statement about chewing is correct? A. It absorbs the products of digestion B. It adds amino acids to the food C. It destroys microbes in the food D. It reduces the size of the food particles I know! 1, 2, 3, we flip our butt So fast ah! Yeah, yeah, yeah! You yeah. reading it never yeah, 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 don't stress me ah! Why like all the above? So if it's just chewing, which by definition is your teeth biting into the food Then D oh. I mean it's just D Because they never ask you what is like saliva, how does ah, saliva yes, play a part? Correct, yeah if it's saliva or like the digestive system blah blah then probably A to C It is common sense, you think about it okay Every time you chew, why? Because too big you cannot swallow ma That's why it's to reduce the size of food particles Everything else, no If it absorbs the product of digestion right You don't even need to digest You just loop like that No, you just put in your mouth Can you then you spit up But I'm not wrong, even though I never take bio I think amino acid is in your stomach. No, that one is hydrochloric. Oh, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> yes. Finally, y'all. One thing I've learned today is that both of us have very good common sense. Oh shit! Asking for correct. Ah. <laughs> I cannot change. I thought A, B, D, all correct. Figure twelve point one shows a section through a germinating seed. Use letters from figure 12.1 to identify the testa and the plumule. It's testa, the testicles for plant. So it's the thing that's sticking out. What's the thing you think of when you think of testa? You think of testes. So something that looks like a testicle, that one, see? Oh, oh, the whole wait, thing, wait, eh? How do you know how testicles... <laughs> how do you know? <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, I, I am the owner of three so testicles. You really are. <laughs> C cause it looks like an important part So I will assume the question will ask for an important part Second one right, looks like it's a very major part So A takes up the most surface area which is why I chose A I think testa is the testicles of plant When a seed start to bloom into a plant right It will chop off the outer layer of the shell What does testicles do? They release things right? Either sperm or pea So when the plant bloom, what do they release? The outer shell uh, I have a question Do you just say that testicles release pea? Testicles not a dick man ah! Oh testicles is the two more ah. Oh sorry sorry that is airy I never take biology I never take biology the testicle is not the penis. C is the B plume. is the testicle. C is the I plume. told you right. The whole thing is oh, the testicle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, I tell you, I same as you confirm wrong already. For none eh. Like got two and then I two also wrong eh. I didn't know that. I thought usually the B is the wall. See lah, why you tell me testicles is the two ball? I almost put B as testa because I thought it's the thing that they release. Oh my god, I feel like both are sharing one brain cell and now it's my turn to have the brain cell. So how were the questions? Did we do anything? I, I can't remember the whole process. I don't want to remember anything. Is it old people things? I'd rather say that I'm old and forget things rather than that I'm stupid. No, 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 no. <laughs> you don't know how to do doesn't mean you're stupid. Don't it just means you're better again. in other things. <laughs> Chinese. If today she put Chinese right, I tell you, she will be crying behind the camera because we're just acing everything. Maybe back then, eh, because you still know what are some terms. So you, at least there's some bomb, chance you can just bomb. But for us, like, we don't even remember what the terms are. Because that's why we, can, we have nothing to bomb with. Like, we really just, <laughs> it's a different definition of bomb. Really just, any output. Well, I shut down leh. I think honestly right, luckily I never take physics. Because it's two of my least favourite things. Math and science. I feel that science is something you really need to memorise. Okay, I mean you can try to go by the common sense route, but as you can tell, you only get two out of ten correct. How is this compared to the O-level science paper that you in terms of difficulty, it's still the same. It's just that, like, same as a pure science, you know. Probably, like, they cover lesser topics or something, I don't know. Yeah, more to do with the syllabus. Yeah, I think because, like, they do both physics camp together mm. as one subject. Even though mine is just five years ago, but I can't really remember it. Eh. You know, people tend to, like, block out traumatizing memories and they try not to recall them. I think that's happening to me. Oh, I really cannot remember anything. Eh. Yeah, I can't remember as well, but I think at that time, it was much better because we have the knowledge. I mean, we studied so hard for it, right? Why you doubt me? Eh? I, I'm not doubting you <laughs> because you say we study so hard for it. Oh, oh, I'm trying to recall if I studied <laughs> so hard for it. Even though it's been like 11 years, right? I feel I've seen similar questions before. It's not that off. So I guess the syllabus is about the same. It's just that I cannot retain all the information anymore. I really threw it out 11 years ago. Thank you for watching this episode of Singaporeans Try. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Ring the notification bell and watch our other videos over there. Good, Good luck for, for your O-Levels! levels. Woo! So. Study hard, but also sleep enough. It's either one or the other. Then just sacrifice sleep, I guess. Well, I'm so lucky that I'm not studying anymore.
I know eh, Mimi. Just get this over and done with and you are good. Legit. <laughs>